So every time I've, I've explained to individuals, uh, particularly to black Africans, that, you know, I, I can't get you on the list, I can't get you up the list, I can't get you a council house. Um, I have been met with uh, aggressiveness, uh, I've been met with bad manners, uh, I've been also been played the race card. Now, you didn't say I'm not going to deal with them or I'm going to be discourteous or whatever. Does that in any way change uh, his remark? Not at all, George, because the thing is, he is going, he's making snap judgment just based on the, the, the way this person in front of him is, looks like, the color of this person's skin. Now, I, absolutely, there is no place for rudeness and aggressiveness, especially when you are dealing with uh, a, 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 pub, a public representative, uh, a, a local councillor. But the way he spoke, it sounds like for him, every black African living in Ireland, and there's about 40,000 uh, that have African descent in Ireland, are in his book, in his mind, they're all aggressive and they're all uh, rude. And that, for me... If that isn't racism, I don't know what is, because he's literally judging the person by the skin color. He's judging the book by its cover. And for especially someone who is in his position, uh, I am I'm uh, surprised that he even came out. He said this yesterday. He said this again today. And for me, I think the man is probably burnt out and may, it's time for him to maybe retire from public life because I don't think he's capable of doing it anymore. But Jerry and Kulak and... It is a recurring text in which he says the mayor is dead right. He's just saying what a lot of people are thinking. Uh, the only reason he's saying what a lot of people are thinking is... There's a lot of racism in this country, as there is in any other country. Mm. There is, sadly...